Hello, and welcome to Galantia Gathers, episode number six. Uh, the show where we talk about a bunch of things that interest us, as well as our long-running campaign of Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, this is episode number six. We took a week off last week, because um, we just needed a little bit of a break. It's good to give yourself a break every now and then. Mental health is important. Don't Don't neglect it. Uh, my name, depending on where you know me from, is Chris or Alvesy. I'm Greg. I'm Adam. Dylan. Oh, and hi, I'm Dylan. <laughs> I'm Jake. I'm Cubby. And yep, that's, that's it. everybody. Yay! That's probably our best. Oh, episode. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. It definitely didn't take who knows how many tries to get that working. Oh. Hey, buddy. This is Alzi coming from the cutting room floor. Uh, when I, we were recording this, I ran into the unfortunate problem that, for whatever reason, my microphone, first time I've ever had this issue, decided to want to pick up all the sound from my friend speaking on my headphones. So I was worried there would be this awful feedback loop of you hearing my friends and then hearing them again. Uh, so what I unfortunately had to do was use my phone uh, to listen to the Discord call. The only problem with that is that the latency was totally off, which means sometimes when I speak uh, on this, I, when I spoke to them through my microphone on the computer, uh, it actually interrupted what they were actually saying. So I was responding before they actually spoke. So apologies for that, and also apologies for taking an extra minute of your time. But uh, enjoy the show. How have totally you guys been? More than... We had a week off. Um, I don't even know what we were talking about last time. Or what we dude, do. I don't know what we're talking about any time. So last time we were talking about Adam's campaign and our characters and how dope they are. Yes. Yep. And we didn't hear what Adam said to us. Yes. Be but then we heard him on the podcast. Yes, because uh, the way we were recording was kind of messed up. And for some reason, we couldn't hear him basically the whole time, which was a bit of a messed up thing. Somehow, we made coherent replies to whatever he said. We did not. Not in a lot. We made a couple of it coherent worked. replies. We made like three total. That's fair. I think it's important to bring to... Uh, up the fact that we have a special guest for this one who already introduced himself but we kind of glossed over it we got dylan here <laughs> Woo! that's me yes it is dylan is thanks the for having me guys of course happy to have you along dylan is of All course right. the player of L ruffy lee zarksferor in our main campaign um yeah can you can you give us a little taste of that sweet sweet voice you mean this boy? Yeah, I'm Lee, and uh, I miss my wife, Sonia, very, very much. Beautiful. I need, my ears needed that. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been way too long. <laughs> Can you give us some pizza rolls? Some dialogue? Oh, yeah, I just uh, uh, learned how to cook them last week. I mean, I haven't had a chance to use my oven since uh, Zephyrus, so... <laughs> Now, uh, <laughs> quick question. What did you make in your oven? A uh, pizza roll. Ah. Yeah. Classic. Classic. I'm glad we have that on recording now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had something that I was going to bring up as a pizza roll topic of discussion, but Honestly, I have I no fucking idea. Pretty well. Pretty well. <laughs> also, Dylan interrupted us before I could introduce our real special guest. Timble Tams, who is muted in our voice chat, say hello, Timble Tams. I don't think he can. Hello, Governor. That's not Timble Tams. It's that's, me, that's just Timble Jake. Tams. That's Why? just Jake with a bad accent. You figured him out. Timble Tams? I'm on, I'm on baby. Timble Tams isn't speaking. That's fine. Or is he? They. Timble Tams is dead. They have died. It's very sad. Died on Mike. <laughs> Rest in peace. I think it's good that Oof. he died, but it is kind of sad. <gasps> Jeez. <laughs> Take that, Timble Tams. No, no one liked you. Anyways, what have you guys been up to these past couple of weeks? 
Um, Monster Hunter. That's fair. I played Civ yesterday so much it gave me a headache. Nice. Yeah. I got a headache from my eye strain. I played for about eight hours straight, and I forgot to eat and drink. Um, and then I lost because, well, Pericles, the Greek leader. Uh, he decided to spread Shintoism around the world, as you do. Uh, you mispronounced Alexander, but okay. He's from Macedonia. Yeah. No, he's not. Pericles has the omega sign. He has, like, Greek. Because Alexander the Great is actually Macedonian. Mm-hmm. He's also an asshole. In I'm making a Civ joke. joke. For those uh, who are uh, clever enough to understand it. I mean, technically, Civ 5 is wrong. Okay, old man. Uh, Civ 5 is... <laughs> kind of incorrect. Civ 6 is still incorrect. Uh, because oh, yeah. Greece doesn't exist. Greece yeah. is a united not nation that does not exist. Civ 6 says Greece? Civ 6, uh, Greece does not exist anymore. Like in the modern. Wait, what is it now? Oh, Pile of burning money. Ah, pretty much. And anarchy. Pretty much. Shout out to Greece. How you doing? <laughs> I guess we've set our sights on our target for this episode. You guys. Well, I, I saw them on eBay for like thirteen dollars last week. I thought it was a joke, but Greece. I don't think it's a joke anymore. <laughs> hey Greece, how's your total economic collapse doing? Hey, we're not too far behind, dude. That's fair. That's definitely fair. Anyway, so you guys are playing Civ. The inferior Civ. But still Civ. Um, the cheaper Civ. Uh, uh, not on sale. That's the reason I own it. Because I got everything for like 40 bucks, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a deal. It was, it was an amazing deal. Um, I still don't understand anything about any of the Civs. Um... I made a lot of money in Civ Six, but it didn't stop religion. So <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Money can't stop religion, apparently. Who knew? There is no amount of money to stop the process of God. That's a lie. Actually, that's a lie. You used to be able to buy your way out of hell. Yeah, that's that's yes. kind of a thing. You still can uh, with monetary value, right? No, you can sell little children. Pete the roll. Pete the roll. Pete the roll. Pete the roll. Oh, I don't know. Why would you have to bleep a priest fucking a young child joke? I can't imagine. <laughs> I never said priest fucking. I said selling them to the church. It was insinuated. It was not. Chris cut this whole bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want my childhood in this bit. We'll have to uh, hold a vote. Everyone well, who says no, no, his joke has something in his childhood. I'm teasing, bud. That was part. That was another joke. Cubby was real good friends with his priest. <laughs> I was actually. Thank you very much. Everyone that believes <laughs> we should cut this part out. His childhood. There's four of them though. God damn. Anybody who thinks we like, should cut this part out, girl. say I. Yep. Yep. See, the trick is when I want a part cut out, I just make it worse and worse until it has to be cut out. You're a bitch. We're putting no, this up to vote. No, because it should be cut out anyways. No, you I'm don't just... command authority I like think that. Our safety, our safe word should be peeth roll. Peeth roll. Dang it! It's always the safe word. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the safe what word? Does that even mean? I thought it was part roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, man! So we have two votes to cut that out. But it definitely got that. And votes against? Against. And we have against. two people sitting out. Timble Tams, do you have an opinion? Oh, I think you should be caught. Timble Tams is still dead. Not. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to leave it up to the folks at home. I think that's two to one, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> no, it's it's inconclusive. We gotta leave it up to the folks at home. Go ahead and, uh, I don't know, go on Twitter, hashtag, 
I think no, we I'm should cut out Cubby out. or hashtag I don't think we should cut out Cubby. Use our uh, Instagram. How do you use that for... I have an Instagram. How do you use that for hashtags? <laughs> it does? For <laughs> trending hashtags? I haven't opened this yet, so... I don't want to see the pictures that people involve with those. So, uh, use Twitter. Or actually, here's, here's a good way to do it, too. Go to uh, my most recent video at the time of recording this. Uh, Polly Walnuts' big day out. And put in the comments either I think Cubby should be cut or I don't think Cubby should be cut. It's up to you. That's but you have to watch the room. whole video before you can comment. So you have to listen to the like hour and a half of this, and then that 30 minute video, and then you can vote. You're welcome. The so real viewer is watching on 0.25 time. True. I mean, that video is already <laughs> slow as it is. Is that not how you watch all of YouTube? I love getting home get and then turning on my own content and watching it at quarter speed. Yeah. It's the best way to do it. I want another topic. I did nothing but work this week. So, anybody else have anything? What you I do? pretty much am in the same boat. I worked all last week for a longer shift than I normally work, which is why we skipped this last week for the most part. And I've been working the week before that and this week. Yeah. I wasn't very happy with them saying, hey, Saturday, you guys want to work? I'm like, I can't say no. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It sucks. I just say no to like $50 an hour. In that day alone, I made over 300 and something bucks. He's flexing. That's like two booster yeah. boxes. Like, I don't know how much those cost. Uh, over. Okay. Booster boxes, I know. One Saturday that I missed D and D for, I made a week's paycheck at my last job. So, Dude, I ha kind of had to go in. I could make like two hundred weeks pay uh, if I sold my kidney. It's true. Mm -hmm. So, me too. You got Put two of those. There. You're like a half life person. You only get like three quarter of the night. No, it's healthy. My kidneys are strong as hell, dude. You know how much green tea I drink? That's exactly, exactly how it works, Cubby. Helps your blood filtration. Don't be a coward. Black tea is actually bad for your liver. They weren't drinking. <laughs> oh, no. I just see that Jake has commented on that video. Did you watch the whole video? Or did you break the rules? Beautiful. Buenos noches, mi amigo. Guten Morgen, meine Freunde. Yo! Yo. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Fuck, Yo! Fuck all of you! <laughs> Fuck all of you with a fucking cast iron rod. Yo! <laughs> for context, that is the uh. There should be no context okay. for that. You get context. Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, this definitely needs to be oh, yeah. Adam, Dylan, one of you. So. He was, we were at D&D one session, and Covey went to ask a question of either Jake or Adam, but he was still using his Kara accent, but he was going to say, yo, like, what, what does this thing do? But he had the Kara accent on. So he put it in a Jamaican accent by accident, and then said, yeah. and then it's been in our heads ever since. Me and Adam quote it on the daily. Indeed. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a pretty good one. It's replaced all normal forms of greeting between us. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta do the finger point, too. Yeah, you gotta do the finger point. It isn't the same without the finger point. Where you, like, reel back behind your head and then, yeah. like, point from the sky down. Thank you. Yo! No. That's alright. We've also still got... Hey, guys! Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Me. The That's funny thing is, I never said that, but everyone said that I did. It's how you keep in I'm camp. going to cast Modify Memory on me. <laughs> That'll be easy. I will wish it into existence. 
I swear to God. I mean, you might as well. It's still always no reason not to. Hmm? It's still only be casting it. Like I didn't say I was going to cast Modify Memory. You're just going to wish that... I'm going to you're wish... You're going to the 33% yes. for that? Okay. I'm going to wish that no, Lee said, hey guys. No, I won't. It will be for a good purpose. It it ruins the timeline. Yeah. And then you never meet Calzoon. Yeah. It's a butterfly never... effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Calzoon three actually, actually get unlocked. I just, that'd probably be better, honestly. Calzoon just becomes pure ranger. I mean, here's the thing. The easiest way to do it was would just be that Lee immediately opens his mouth and says that. <laughs> wherever he is. That's amazing. In the middle of whatever it is he's doing. <laughs> Perfect. I get this strange feeling to say, hey guys, it's Lee, for no reason. Uh, I swear, I had something that I was bringing up for this episode. But I have just been in such a blur today that I've totally forgotten it. So, that's cool. Yeah. You ever have those days where you just completely blank out? Every day. That's my life. Ugh. Dude, ADD is a fun ride that you can't get off of. Oh, reliable. I was at work Why today, and all of a sudden it? I just... I felt everything in my brain just disappear, and I'm just like... Why do I exist? Why? <laughs> Why am I here oh, just geez. to suffer? <laughs> I was just I like, just this sucks. <laughs> I just want to point out a possible talking point that we could always use as a backup, mm-hmm. just because there's so much to talk about. Well, First there is. edition rules. Oh my god. Oh. I could stand as a backup. I could be angry for hours. Yeah. Right if we want like an eight-hour podcast of pure rants <laughs> on your guys' trouble... First edition. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta get someone who knows no first edition and who's only played fifth. I mean, it's basically me. Right, but we've explained it to you ad nauseum. I've only he hasn't absorbed like, any of it. Tip my toe in. That's fair. The only thing I know is that human is the only way to be yeah. powerful, basically. Rules is written. Um, no, male half orc fighter, they can get 18 100 strength. Unlike any other uh, race gender combination, we're not going to get uh, into it. No, so exceptional strength is like a regular. <laughs> we'll save that for the big one. Maybe episode number ten, or uh, yeah. when we do the like first uh, episode that's everybody just live in one room, trying to record this at once, all talking yeah. at the same time. Jeez, that would be a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you want that. That sounds horrifying. It does. Very. But that would be okay. So what's your plan for a talking point? Uh good question. I took my permit test Oh yeah. Today. How'd that go? Again. I did a lot of work. Just, like really bad. Like enough to pass or Oh yeah, I still passed. That's all that matters. I got four questions wrong though. That's rough. Cringe. Mm. I almost threw up on the examiner's desk. <laughs> he was like, you got four questions wrong. And I was like, mm, kill me. <laughs> Give me the sweet release of death. I, I've disgraced my family. Yeah. And then he just gave me my permit. And now I can just send him nice. for that whenever I want. I asked him, dude, was like, yeah, since you've already had your permit, like, you can send right. in for your driver's test today. If you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't you know, want to do yeah. that. I mean, you do have your hours. You just uh, haven't submitted them yet. Yeah, I can also use my hours for my last permit. Didn't you have enough? Yeah. Yes. That's fair. Hmm. You can send in right now. Yes. Why don't you? I don't have a stamp. Or the ability to pass the test. Then why do you keep denying it when I offer to let you drive? You have a standard. I don't drive it's standard. It's car to learn. I'm sure you think that. Everyone should learn how to drive a standard. And that's your opinion. Mm-hmm. It is. It's also agreed upon by a lot of people. Cool. Do you know how to drive a standard? Kind of. Do I have to? No. Okay. Everyone should at least try it once. Why? Because 
it is a useful thing to know. Why well, I'm pretty sure majority are automatic. They are. But if you need to drive a standard one day and you have the inability of but driving it, if nobody had standard cars, you wouldn't. That's need to. that is fair. But there's always going to be a standard. That's fair. There's always be standard cars. There like always be standard vehicles. That's preparing for failure and outdated technology. Okay. No, it's preparing in case you need to drive outdated technology. Tractors, tractor trailer trucks, yes. a lot of high end vehicles. Mm -hmm. Most of those are standard trans are mm -hmm. manual transmissions. Yeah. Manual transmission is good to know. Mm -hmm. Plus, being able to drive a manual transmission helps you get better gas mileage or helps you drive a trailer better. You sound like a better. fucking advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. anyways, standard yeah. is not worth your time. No, yeah, standard standard I'm going. glad. <laughs> I'm just glad cars. that we scared away all of our nerd audience our with uh, car talk. Are is it talk. standard? They're, they don't get gas mileage because they're electric. Oh, so the way you get the best gas mileage is by driving a Tesla, which is not in fact a standard. <laughs> Teslas are also just fucking go-karts with bigger batteries. Yeah, that's the point. That go zoom. They do go zoom. They go zoom for cheap. Zoom zoom. I still like standards better. Cool. We need, we need a topic. <laughs> I am grasping at straws. So, I... Dylan, I had cool. so I was listening to the podcast, great podcast, and a couple weeks ago I remembered the SCP mm -hmm. topic. So I was listening and I heard about the argument. Uh, what was it? Yeah, Cain and Abel story. I actually figured out the reasoning behind it. Did you? So, so both Cubby and Nick were right. It's kind of weird. So basically, like the Bible story says, uh, it was Cain that killed Abel, right? Yeah. If I'm if I'm getting that right. But anyway, so basically, it's years and years later, and Abel is a uh, basically taking revenge for being murdered, and they kind of switched roles. I just thought that was interesting because I watched a video on it, and I like I was trying to figure out which one was right, and. What Covey was saying sounded right, but I also like what Nick was saying, like he had it hauled up was right. So I thought that was interesting. It was both. Yeah, that's how most arguments with Nick go. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> is there's actually no one who's wrong. You're just arguing that. Yeah, I was going to say, wait arguing. a minute. Are you saying we, they had that whole argument for no reason? Second. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> he was like who? Yeah, you were just as saying. fucking wrong, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn. Know your place. He didn't say you were wrong. He said you were just as wrong. Which is technically correct. Okay, but I also didn't raise my voice during that. But it's all based boost got the standard, though. <laughs> <laughs> the Nick face boost got me laughing mm. so hard. Oh! It's standard it's test. Short-term memory of a oh. lab door retriever on coke i've had a headache for the past like two and a half days so my brain is just very much trying not to kill me and i'm very much trying not to kill myself but dude i had a migraine yesterday from civ so bad i couldn't move i couldn't make well, food i was gonna call in to work but then i looked at my phone and realized i don't have a number to call in so i drove there and i looked like shit and one of my bosses, uh, the foreman came over and he's like, Cub, are you okay? I'm like, I feel like absolute dog shit. And he goes, then why'd you show up? Because I didn't have anything to call out. And he proceeded to give me a number and say, do you want to go home? And I'm like, I just drove an hour to get here. I am not going to drive an hour home without it, making money. Isn't it per diem? Yeah, I made 80 bucks just by showing up. I would have I left. No, no. I was already there. I was going to put in a day's work. Which is kind of weird, because me feeling like shit, we still smoke the other crew, but, yeah. You smoked them? You, like, rolled them up. Oh! Uh, no, we didn't Pass have them, but we did not do any of that. Mm. One bad day after uh, we got out of work, though, I had Probably to... before, after, and during. <laughs> no, you didn't do it during. Break time is a thing, dude. Nope. You... Mm. Nope. What do you have for lunch? He had a sandwich, and we ate it together, and we ate it at the same time. Any did he smoke the sandwich? Nope. Brownies, cookies, nope. cake, nope, butter, nope. We, butter. There is a company agreement 
You can smoke all you want. Just wait until you're off the premises. She doesn't follow because as soon as he jumped in his truck, I walked by and his entire truck is full of smoke. And he's just like, are you in a better mood? And he looks over and he goes, oh, yeah. Dude, we were about to have a ride to my old job because they thought that they were going to take away people's smoking rights. And people were ready to burn the place to the ground. It was hilarious. No, technically we are a no smoking area. I work on a solar field. I cannot disclose the company, but I do work on a solar field as an as an electric apprentice. To be fair, I think you can't disclose it because you don't remember what they're called. No, I do know what they're called, but I actually did sign the whole non-disclosure mm. bullshit. Um, Never sign anything. I had to legal advice. Me. What the fucks with all these companies um, with NDAs? No. That's fucking bullshit. I don't know. There's nothing I could tell you about them because they don't tell me anything about them themselves. All I know is what their pay stub looks like, and that's because I've got them. I'm in the exact same boat. No. We declare uh, war on an indisclosed... I mean, yeah, companies. it's just kind of a shadow yeah. war, though. Uh, no, I, dude, I kind of like my company. They're pretty nice. I mean, other than the fact that they won't allow any knives on the premises. Like, you can't have a pocket knife. They give you the... And you can't have an electrical knife. The normal electrical knives. Instead, they give you these little shitty uh, safety knives, they call them. And it looks like an electrical ba- blade had a weird inbred baby with a uh, gutting knife. And it's useless. But do it's they, what they hand out. Do they allow power tools? Uh, yes. <laughs> Why are those question. allowed? Because so many people were leaving their electrical knives open because they were doing something, and then they reached and cut it, and someone else would rush against it and cut themselves. And it's like, that's just called stupidity. Uh, if you're done with the tool, you close it, and you put it in your pocket, and you go working again. You need it again, you pull it out, you open it up. That's simple. It's not hard. Mm-hmm. Most people, then, there was a bunch of idiots that kept just leaving mm-hmm. the knives open because they were still using them, and, and other people ended up cut. And it's like, okay, we wear sleeves. We wear Kevlar sleeves up to our shoulders. We're not going to get cut. You don't need a knife if you have long nails. Just grow your nails out. I can't. <laughs> uh, with wires? You kind of need a knife. Yeah. I just use my Leatherman and keep it in a pouch that they're not going to get cut. quarter-inch rubber, my guy. I could cut that. I promise you. Graydon you says he can do your wiring. I'm he shows impressed. up and just wolverines his fingernails out and just goes <laughs> ham on your walls. <laughs> I'll moss your, like, processor out of your computer. Oh, I really don't need the knife that often. It's just the open cardboard boxes. I'm doing a grunt job. That's exactly what I would use my nails for. So, Dylan, I have a question for you. As maybe the only person, aside from myself, who edits these, who listens to these podcasts on a daily basis, you must have some insights Mm -hmm. on what is interesting, what's not interesting, what sucks, what's funny. Please, give us your wisdom. Hmm. I think it's funny just, like, hearing you guys talk about things i mean like almost every topic i've heard and like listened to i've had a laugh somewhere in there and i found it interesting that's just me though i mean uh yeah i mean i like the variety of it too because i don't i never know what i'm gonna walk into with the podcast which i think is kind of cool how it's unpredictable but at the same time also predictable because i do we do get the dungeon dragon side of things but we also get whatever happens in the lives of you guys so i think that's cool so I do appreciate the, uh, that's helpful to know, but it is funny that your advice for us is, mm-hmm. it's good when you guys talk on the podcast. <laughs> that's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> you mean violence chicken isn't entertaining? Uh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's great when you talk in this audio only format. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like it when you use your voice to, to create words. Why don't you use your ass cheeks? <laughs> oh, like Ace Ventura? That's a great movie. Yes, it is. I love that movie. It's so good. First, you are amazing. The third one. Is Am not I the only to... one that has gotten Jim Care ads like all over everywhere on the internet? For example. Almost everywhere on the internet, I've seen Jim Carrey holding a casket, and it's, like, hmm. really disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thinking that. Dude, Jim Carrey's a god. 
He really is. He's like a trickster god. I thought he was human. I don't know about that. You seen him move his face? Uh, well, yeah, it's Jim Carrey. Have you control over muscles? It's just so weird. Mm. And the amount he I don't know. He's like a Swiss Army knife of a person. He's great. Not as much as Gary Oldman. Okay, but that's just not possible to reach that level. But Gary Oldman goes from playing a police captain to a pimp. Fair. It's very impressive. I only got get like two advertisements these days. One of them, for some reason, I click on one Spotify link, our own Spotify link, and YouTube has decided the only advertisement I ever want is for Joe Rogan's fucking dumbass podcast. Like, I give a shit about that. I don't... Who gives a fuck about podcasts? I mean, come on. It's awful. <laughs> Not me. I <laughs> do. I give zero shits. I love podcasts. Oh, hear me smack. Oh. Oh. I've never seen the fucking show, but that's the only line I know from it. Oh, here's another one. Boss salt. Isn't that mm-hmm. another Weezer one? <laughs> Carl Weezer. Not the band Weezer. <laughs> the only- have you seen that video? The Weezer cover? I think oh, I have. It's Carl Weezer. Oh, no. I want to. I- it's so good. <laughs> It's amazing. Are you seeing their cover for Africa? No. <laughs> Sounds great. You're right. The one that does sound great. Basically, it's them, but you know their Nate, main uh, like dude, Nate Rivers? Hmm. How he looks like a total nerd all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of like his bit. They have um Weird Al dress as him. <laughs> wearing his hair <laughs> and everything. Amazing. But it's it's Nate Rivers singing, just Weird Al in the video. I love Weird Al. Oh, it's very good. He's great. Because for a solid like minute or two, I could not tell if it was Weird Al or not. Like that's how good his disguise is. Wow, <laughs> that's insane. You never heard Constipated? No, dude, look up Constipated by Weird Al. No, I'm good. No, it's so fucking funny. I'm all <laughs> that with every other right. one that he does. No. Okay, everyone on here needs to look up Constipated by Weird Al Yankovic. It is one of the top, probably, six best songs out there, if you just want to laugh. Top six. I like the Star Wars one. I also like, uh, Sam has gone crazy, and, uh, Big Bird's got a gun. My favorite one's, um, Amish Paradise. Yeah. That one is yeah. so good. I, just I love like the that. Rest, you know, that one's like, so good. Him like singing and the scenes where like it's him like working and he's covered in sweat and the last one he's just like pouring liquid down his face like he's waterboarding himself. <laughs> That's great. It's my favorite scene. It's beautiful, work of art. All right, sorry. So, continue. Nerd shit. Let's let's talk nerd shit. I was just about to go on a rant about debit cards, but yeah, let's do let's talk about nerd stuff. That sounds way more entertaining. It's about... What sounds more entertaining? Airplane no. food. Debit what? cards. What's Stop. up with airplanes? They've been on one and they didn't serve me. <laughs> They've been on an airplane. I don't intend to. They're pretty fun, actually. Watch my brother almost ruin his pants on one. <laughs> hey. Those of you that are uh, do stuff on Steam and stuff, when did the downloads page up uh, get updated? When did they change that? I got that update a few days ago to go uh i honestly haven't looked i just remember getting the update i don't notice. think i allowed my steam to update <laughs> i just went on here uh, i haven't played like any games for like the last two weeks and i just go on and it's totally different good for you bud it's it not out of choice way too often i don't even i don't even notice i came back and they changed the whole like library setup and i was like what is this Mm. Surprise updates suck. Steam is weird. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the last like big update or something that everyone hated. You know what I love? You know what I love about Steam? Nothing. When you go on to play a single player game when you go on to play a single player game, like by yourself, not online, and they're like, Oh no, it has to update. So you can't play it. Oh, I hate that. I'm yeah. like, why? 
why can't you just disallow the online co connectivity? Why? And they're like, no, you can't play it at all. Isn't it on your computer? your computer? Yeah. Then why don't you just turn off the internet for your computer? Because Steam already knows. Actually, once it knows it needs to update, it won't Fun let fact, you if start you disconnect it. from internet, uh, exit Steam, and then enter it again, I'm pretty sure you can still play stuff. Because I've definitely I've had, had that in the problem, and that worked. It wasn't because I wanted laptop, to, I just turned off my internet. Usually it's because I'd like, uh, the power would go out, and I'd lose internet, and I'd be like, oh, at least I can play this now. My computer would not forget. Um, my laptop. I wanted to play, like, FTL or something, and it wanted to update, but I didn't have internet at the time. So I went for, like, a month not able to play it. It just wouldn't. What is FTL? Faster than light. FTL faster than light. It's a very good roguelike uh, ship game. Ship, uh, spaceship fighting game. It's amazing. I can show it to you after the podcast. We should just do a stream where we show, like, Jake all these games. And uh, copy all these Steam. games. Because there's a lot that we mentioned. Actually, that was an amazing game. Steam has so have a SpongeBob many... class for Cubby. <laughs> yeah, that too. SpongeBob class. Bob 101. <laughs> Bob 101. SpongeBob. And then after that, the SpongeBob anime. Yeah. That one's so good. Oh. So, what about debit cards? Oh. Uh, Zero. So, about. Three weeks ago, I got a, uh, the revelation. I looked down at my debit card and I was like, oh, it expires this month. Cool. I'll be expecting a new one soon. About two weeks passed. This was back in August. Um, hadn't received anything. So I went over to the bank because I had to make a deposit anyway. And they said, oh, yeah, no, we'll send that out to you soon. Let us know if there's any problems, though. So I was like, okay. I'll just not have a debit card to use. Because the problem was, I couldn't get onto Apple Podcasts or anything like that. I couldn't sign up for those. Which means I haven't been able to get the podcast onto Apple Podcasts yet. Uh, which is a bit of a problem. Because that's a big outlet. So I go home, and I'm like, okay. It's just going to be a matter of time. I have to wait. And then I get an email that says, oh, yeah, no, your, uh, your debit card's on the way. We've had to send out new debit cards to everybody that uses this bank because MasterCard decided to change their ways. We need to now send everybody a new debit card. Enjoy. And I just said, That's okay. They've, they've left me out never without a uh, working card. I'm sure they'll send it to me fast. Another week passes, and I don't have my card. I eventually get it. And I had completely read over the part of the email that says, Oh, also, we're changing all your numbers. So I had to memorize my entire debit card again. Because I knew my other numbers by heart. And I was like, okay, that sucks, because I have to relearn all those numbers and also, they pin, they changed my pin. So I had to go and change that. So I did all of this. And was like, okay. I now have a working debit card. Great. I'm now able to function as a human being. But now, because all the numbers are changed, I now have to go into everything that I spend money on and change my payment option. Because it doesn't recognize the old numbers because they're different numbers. So I just keep getting email after email of Warhammer being like, Oh, you need to change your debit card. We tried to charge it and it didn't work. So I have to go out of my way, hunt websites to the ends of the earth to change a bunch of digits so they can take my plastic money. They're making it harder for me to give them my plastic money. Ah. <laughs> and also, mm. I still can't get Apple Podcasts to work. It still won't accept it. So I don't know what to do. It was completely a moot point as far as that goes. So that was cool. So 
another debit card story about debit cards sucking. Mm. Uh, when I just got my bank stuff set up and got my debit card, um, they were really weird about the like what would set off their fraud alerts. Mm. We had a uh, like a convenience store at my work in in the building. Like you'd buy what you needed there and check out there and stuff. Um, and it was like a little kiosk. It was super cool. And I was really hungry. And um, so I, well, I went to buy some stuff and I scanned my card. And it was like, nope, we're not letting that happen. I'm like, why? And it was like, because you used it at a weird location. I'm like, what do you mean a weird location? I'm at work. And it just wouldn't let me buy food. So I just sat there and died. Because it was at the beginning of like a 10-hour shift. Oof. It was amazing. Yeah, I had someone who uh, at my work today got their card declined. And they they were okay about it. But I've I've had people in the past who got upset at me because their card was declined. Yeah, that's the weirdest reaction. Mm. It's like, Dude, my I, card got I did not decline your card. The stupid card machine decided yeah. to decline your card. It was a personal decision. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, I, I was trying to buy a, um, an isochron scepter at Bull Moose the second time I found out it was uh, uh, cancelled because of a weird fraud charge. So, that was cool. Nice. That's, that's super It neat. was like a really discounted isochron scepter, and I was like, this is going to be awesome. And then it was declined, and I was like, oh, hey. Oof. Yeah. And I didn't have any cash on me the one time. Mm. Stupid. I hate having cash. I love having cash. It's just gross. Why? Uh, it's just gross. Why? Because so many people touch it. You, so many people touch a lot of things every day that you touch. What's your point? I don't leave my room, so that's false. Wait. I left my room today. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yep, you're here now. <laughs> well. Don't you work? Uh, not at the moment. I'm mm. trying to figure out a different job right now. That's fair. I would recommend working the place that I work at, but I don't recommend it. Don't, want to like don't work there. <laughs> Why not? I thought your, your, your place was great. My place? Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. no problems whatsoever. It's lit, bro. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? They're making a movie about Gucci. What? <laughs> it's so dumb. What does that even mean? Yeah, they're making, they're making like I guess like Gucci is a brand of clothing, and they're making a movie about it with Adam Driver and Lady Gaga as the main actors, and they are like, it's it's like based on a true story, and there's like murder and stuff. I like I didn't know Gucci was so dark. I heard God. Adam and Driver. Dude, I I need to see it. That's fair. Adam Driver is awesome. Yeah, why Kylo Ren is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that is the most cursed image I've ever seen. Normal Kylo Ren is terrible. Uh, I don't know. Kylo is one of the only characters I cared about. Until the third movie. Well, except that's that one scene. I don't know. Third which movie. didn't need to happen. Yeah. No, the third mm -hmm. movie was bad, yeah. but... Third movie was real bad. I think his redemption was the only redeeming part of the the new three. Okay. He made uh, a point. has just left. He made a point. For some reason. He made a point to say goodbye and then immediately said a bunch of stuff that has to get cut. Yep. Don't know so, what that's about, but okay. cool. Uh, we don't need him. We got a new special guest. Dylan, what the hey, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He, 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 no, who dead. cares about Dimble Tams? He's dead. <laughs> I was talking about Dylan. Okay. Catch yeah, up. That makes a lot more sense. Yep. He's talking about Dylan. Yeah. 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 Now you know what it's like to oh, be in like one of these recording Jingle sessions. Pass, so. What's it's like? Yeah, this, this is this is cool. This is raw, unadulterated, unfiltered. Bullshit. Yeah, like, is... <laughs> some of the things I have to, like, actually talk to Adam about, because it's like, they censored this. What the heck did they say? <laughs> and then they, they say... <laughs> and then, oh, my God. And then Adam <laughs> tells me, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, that that definitely needed to be censored. Holy yeah. crap! I, my that, favorite yeah. was the whole the the I think it was the first episode mm -hmm. where we used the stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that one confused me. Yeah, like one moment it was just like. <laughs> yeah, because it was really long. Look, I I shill money for Adobe Premiere, so uh, I'm gonna use all my uh, powers. Makes sense. That's fair. <laughs> Very fair. Uh, that is fun though. But anyways, we don't have to worry about people rolls anymore. Yeah, I'll I'll just need to get yeah, a clean. I think I probably have a clean version of it from Dylan talking. Let's just, let's just... Oh. Let's just have an, a perfect one. All right. Three, yeah. two, one. Keep the roll. Nice. I like you like that. <laughs> uh, Chris, you got to put some more emotion into it. One more time. Three, two, one. the roll. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Yo. 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 <laughs> That'd be a great place to end the podcast, but we have the second half to do. Oh wait, wait! wait. Before before we move mm -hmm. on, um, did did any of you guys play Titanfall, like Titanfall one or two? I never played Titanfall. Uh the closest I came was there was a Fallout New Vegas mod that added a Titan that you could summon. Nice. So, I uh, <laughs> just want to say Titanfall two has one of the best, if not the best, campaigns I've ever played in a shooting game. Okay. And um, NVIDIA fucked up and accidentally leaked a whole bunch of games that are coming out in the future, mm. including Titanfall 3. <gasps> Interesting. When did that happen? Uh, like, yesterday. Ooh. There's a bunch of other ones. Anything else? So that was good. Uh, I'll look it up. Borderlands campaign is okay. The Borderlands 2 campaign is very, very good. That's fair. Borderlands 2 is the best Borderlands. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's not, even, not even close. Fourth one? Three. I've played Sopranos um, Road to Respect for about 30 minutes, and I can definitely say that was that is the best piece of media out there. So you gotta get on uh, quite a high level. You put more time in there. The rookie numbers. 30 minutes? Yeah. It's really struggling. Have though. you have you seen that video? Clearly not. No. Go ahead and watch the first couple of minutes, and you'll see why 30 minutes is about all that can be mustered. Yeah, I watched, like, the first couple minutes of it, mm -hmm. and then, I, like, I had to go do schoolwork, but then, like, I watched the first couple of minutes, and it was like, what? How is this a game? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's insane. Holy crap. I love that I have a totally nice. legal and uh, real way to hook my PS2 up to my computer. And play games Amazing. and record them. Totally. It's next thing you should take a shot at is um, A D and D Eyes of the Beholder. I think that's like a DOS game though, and I can just no, play Gauntlet Dark no. Legacy. Trust me. Oh, oh okay. okay. It's special. I found a list. So, uh, God of War, Returnal, and Demon Souls. Returnal? What does that mean? Returnal. What does that mean? I don't know. It's it's a game that's a PS5 exclusive. Coming to PC, uh, the GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas remasters. That was already announced. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's, oh. Yeah. Um, the only GTA I might play. Oh, Injustice 3 was leaked. Bioshock 2022? That's another big thing I'm hyped for. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm guessing Bioshock coming out in 2022. But is that a remake, or is that a new game? I hope... It's the latter. Although I would also enjoy remakes because the so, yeah. original ones are phenomenal. They are amazing. Dude, oh my god, where could they go next? Uh, Final Fantasy Space. Uh, 7 Remake, which is pretty It's pretty good. I mean, we knew that was coming out, though. To PC? Oh, it's coming to PC? Yeah, it was PlayStation exclusive. I, you, Crisis wait, 4? I don't know what that means. You, do you don't know Crisis? Oh. Do you know the meme, can it play Crisis? No. Or can it run Crisis? No. So... It was the one of the first graphical heavy uh, games, and it worked on like console because it was supposed to be run on console strictly. Like it was designed from the get go to be console, and then they're like, 
hey, let's put it on PC. It didn't work at all. Why? Because the coding is, was just so set for the hardware inside the consoles, it just did was dog shit on the computer. Oof. I played like and Kingdom Hearts 4. the first hour of Crisis uh, Two uh, at a cousin's house. Ooh, Crash Team Racing. Can can um can Greece take a seat from our like declaring war thing? I'd like to declare war on a new fandom. Okay. Yeah, we can oh. we can uh, make peace with. Well, we're not gonna make peace with Greece. We're just. No, I'm coming back yeah. from Greece. But there's a bigger fish to fry right now. Yeah, let's let's hop on. Kingdom Hearts fans, why? Why are you the way you are? I don't know. <laughs> that is the only good part. Why? <laughs> what makes you good? Explain it to me. Someone explain it, please. Why? Uh, this. The story. The story is garbage. The story is like it was written by nine drunk chimpanzees who did not communicate with each other in any way. But they all had different ideas, and then they shoved it all together in order to sell Disney toys. I think that's the same dev team Everyone that made Surprise played... Road to Respect from the sounds of it. Nine drunk chimpanzees, yeah. Mm. Adds up. And then, and then, the disrespect. In the third game, they cut out all the Final Fantasy characters. But they kept the Final Fantasy magic system. Mm. There wasn't even a mention of like the Final Fantasy characters that were there. It also took them like 20 years to have it come out. Yeah. I think it was actually 14. And everyone was super hyped about it until they realized it's garbage. Because it was going to be garbage. Kingdom Hearts may they have a fun play style, but if you try and defend the story, you are wrong. I think, because I've heard some uh, Kingdom Hearts fans talk about it. I think it's how ludicrous the story is that is the reason they like the first two. But uh, the general consensus is but also that would... 3 is not a great game. No, 3 is garbage. But um, it was more like ad runny for Disney than the other ones. But I've, I've run into actual like Kingdom Hearts fans who tried to defend the story. Like, it's actually, like, literary genius. Like, gospel. <laughs> and on the third day... It's not. Goofy descended from the heavens. On the third day, Donald created the <laughs> Earth and breathed life into it. It's a better story than Red Dead Redemption 2. On the fourth day, Goofy died. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> he got chucked up. <laughs> it's very sad, but I'm also glad he's dead. We can bury him in Timble Tims back, together. Don't worry. That's the fifth day. No, like, it doesn't make sense. None of the story actually legitimately makes sense. It's all like, like, Deus Ex Machina garbage mixed with Disney magic trash. Who thought it would be funny to kill Goofy off? Like, what? <laughs> Who's like a super emotional scene, except it's Goofy. <laughs> They actually killed Goofy. Yeah, he died in one of the games. <laughs> it's so. T oh, dang it. Same as that. Uh, oh, spoiler alert, by the way. Goofy dies. <laughs> so does Donald. Oh, no. I don't think you can spoil it at this point. Because if, if that didn't happen in the third one, then it was over like 14 years ago. I just found a, I looked it up, and there was a, um, the first thing that comes up is a uh, Reddit post that says, spoilers, Kingdom Hearts 3, Goofy shucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> Which just made my day. Um, that means that in the same game, they killed two of the main characters and then brought them back to life. Wow. <laughs> Because they can't have a Disney property die. Which means they can't actually mm -hmm. build emotional stakes into the game. Because you know legally they can't kill any of them. Like Dragon Ball. Right. No one can actually die. So there's Well, except they have a mechanic for them to come back. Disney has a mechanic too. It's called a team of lawyers. <laughs> that That's very powerful. Yes, it is. Much like Donald being the most powerful black major in existence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Terrible. I forgot that whole like stupid theory. Not a theory. It's fact. It's he cast Zeta Flare, dude. The only other people who can cast Zeta Flare are gods. Yes. Do it on purpose or actually? No, he did it on purpose, and it shucking killed him. <laughs> like it <laughs> shucked him up. But guess what? He still cast it. Wow. Even in the Final Fantasy lore, the only ones who can cast it are the gods. Wow. And Donald did it on a whim. <laughs> That's amazing. That is so funny. This stupid pantsless sailor duck <laughs> is just a god. <laughs> Until he dies. He comes back. Yeah, because he's a god. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. And they know it doesn't. They're do you, only... Do you make it so much better? Not existing? Adding Shaggy. Dude, if Shaggy comes in and like takes Sora by the head, like, between his palms and just crushes his skull into a pulp? Yes. Only way to redeem it. Right. Oh, spoiler alert, Sora turns into a Heartless. But that doesn't mean anything, because you don't know what, what how, by what mechanic. It doesn't make sense. Bad story. Bad writing. None of this rant surprises me. I've known of Graydon's anyway, hatred for writing. Kingdom Hearts for a long time. Listen, man. I got stuck on Tarzan. Um, <laughs> the truth come out. They don't tell you. They don't tell you where to go. Um, so I was like, eh, whatever. I don't care. And I stopped playing. And I'm glad I did. Thank you, Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I didn't even see Tarzan. <laughs> no, I saw him fight a tiger. <laughs> or his parents got eaten by a tiger. One of the two. <laughs> Spoiler for the movie Tarzan, his parents die. <laughs> I guess this episode is called Spoiler Alert. Yeah. I'm spoiling all of Disney right now. Spoiler alert, Cubby's canceled. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert, Tarzan is dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he swings on the vines? With his <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, dang. Aaron's an adult woman and also swings on a vine. He's got buns of steel. It's the only explanation. Yeah. I, it just... Listen, all of Kingdom Hearts fandom, fight me. Do we? I, I have my money on green. Do... I could probably take them. I mean... There's, there's only like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you might be oh, underestimating like, a left? little bit. The people that still defend it are very... They're all like nine-year-old kids, too. I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. Even nine-year-olds understand they're better. All, right? No, well, nine-year-olds were like, alive back then. Thirty-year-old neckbeards. Like, wasn't the first Kingdom Hearts in, like, 2005? Yes. Do you know why people still like it? Nostalgia. Yeah, that's it. It's not a good game. It's the only keeps it alive. They just remember their good childhood memories, except they weren't good, because they were playing Kingdom Hearts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia does a lot. Yeah. Except for, um... Some games, nostalgia does not carry it, and it's just a really good fucking game. Yeah. Like Spyro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, definitely. Spyro is great. Dude, Soul Blazer for the SNES. Amazing game. Sky Blazer. Soul Blazer is a different game. Terrible game. <laughs> Sky Blazer is really good. I never Man. played uh, Spyro or Crash Bandicoot or any of those, but I did play a lot of Ratchet and Clank as a kid. And that... I assume kind of holds up because I tried playing that recently, and the only problem was it none of the textures would load, which was interesting. Yeah. But otherwise, pretty solid game. You know, Crash Bandicoot is actually like a legitimately hard game. Mm -hmm. Yes, like it's really hard. It's like the Dark Souls of kids games. It's ridiculous. I somehow beat it as a kid. I go back and try to beat it. Yeah, no, like no chance. I can't get past the first level. I used to play like Mario. And, like, I, I don't know how I did anything. Mm -hmm. Like, there are levels now that just floor me, and I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Dude, another, another good kids game that I played uh, that I thought was going to not live up to the hype. It's Warrior Woods. Amazing game. If anyone out there knows it, it's an amazing game. Mm. It's, uh, it's like Tetris, but you play as a character in the screen. And mm. so it's... it's it's more like Bejeweled, actually, oh, but you have to like, like stack that. things the right way and mm. line them, huh? I've seen games like that, the whole uh, it's similar style. It's super cool, and it's, 
and it's two player, fight me in Wario Woods. I will oh, annihilate you. I'm really good at Wario Woods. For no good reason. I'm really good with Mega Man. Are you really? No. no. Oh, I'm so bad at Mega Man. Not Dude, much. Nick's really good Nick's at Mega Man. Nick's really good yeah. at Mega Man. He is. He's like so good. He's like a god at Mega Man. No joke. Like old Mega Man or all Mega Man? Like he, uh, Ultimate. Mega Man. Mega Man X. No, no, no. Like, like Smash Bros. Oh. Yeah. Nick's I'm incredibly so good. good. Mega Man games yeah, He's oh, really good with Mega Man. Okay, so Mega Man is a good game. It's just really hard and some of the levels are poorly designed. Don't come at me, Mega Man fandom. You're cool. Um, no, Nick's really good at Smash Mega Man. Hmm. See, I'm really bad at any fighting game, so I have to crutch on Kirby for Smash Bros. Kirby's really hard to use, dude. No, you just fly up and then... Oh, yeah, okay. That Kirby is pretty easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I fought, I fought Nick with Kirby and he decimated Mega me Man. 3-0. Although one Mega time, Man. I I fought I used Kirby. Although one time I pulled off the most MLG Yoshi moves I've ever done. Dude, Yoshi is a garbage character. No, listen, I pulled off the most MLG thing though. So you know how he can like eat people and shit them out. Mm-hmm. So he I it over the edge, over the edge, mm-hmm. and then jump down after them, ate them again, shit them out again, and then jump back. And that would be super impressive if I didn't have a friend who's a like, sweaty tryhard who mains Yoshi and has done that to me 90,000 times. Mm. See, now, the best part about it is, like, I was explaining to the guy I was playing against, we're, we were both noobs, because I, like, just got the Switch. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was watching the stream, and this guy did it. I was like, this is so cool. I'm going to try it. And I tried it, and it worked. First try. It really sucks when you start playing Smash Bros, and you think you, you find your main, you're like, yeah, I like this character. <laughs> and then... You look at, like, a tier list, and everyone's like, oh, that character sucks! And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm, it's like, I'm any more, character's good. I'm more embarrassed when I go on and, uh, I'm like, oh, I like this character. And then I hear, like, oh, yeah, this character's just god tier, you know. If you play this yeah. one, you're trash. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. man, I'm really good with this character. And it's like, no, they're just, like, triple S tier. Like, Meta Knight in, um, yeah. the old one? Yeah. Meta Knight in this one. I thought he was nerfed. I mean, yeah, yeah, but you can still move spam. That's true. Like crazy. And his stupid side special is ridiculous. Because you can just keep doing it. I had a dude who used to do that to me all the time. Ooh. Until I picked Krom and countered him every time. And then he stopped like real Krom. quick. I like Krom too. Krom is fun. Krom is fun. He's one of the 19 uh, Fire Emblem characters that use a sword. Mm. Actually, that's... Yeah, that's all of the Fire Emblem characters. Yo, get off of Krom. All you... That's Matt Mercer. He's super cool. Dude, Krom is probably the be- uh, the second best Fire Emblem character in Smash to play. Mostly because he's the OG, like, anime swordsman. Um, my favorite one, my favorite character in general to play is Robin, who's like... The... Oh yeah, you're good with Robin. Is that the fucked up I'm one? I'm terrible with Robin. What you kick my butt every time with Robin. Uh, the one who uses a spell book and a little short sword. Is it that one or Corrin that's really I, fucked the up? The white hair. Corrin and Robin, actually, because Robin's... So Robin in one of the games was a player character, I believe, which means that he has to have no personality oh. and be silent and can be either gender. But then later they bring him in as an actual character, mm-hmm. like in the game, <laughs> which is really weird. But I like Corrin. Uh, not Corrin. Corrin's dumb to play. Um, I think that's the incest one. Robin is cool. Yeah, probably, actually. That makes sense. You guys might hate me for this, but mm-hmm. Mr. Game & Watch is also a lot of fun because the RNG it's... mechanics. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I cannot play Mr. Game & Watch, though. I suck with him. Oh, yeah. that's. I just spam that and hope that I get lucky. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> That's one character that I, I played as him once, and I was like, oh, that's kind of fun and dumb, but this character's terrible. And then I heard they were, like, super tier, and I was like, God okay. Tier. Literally god tier. Yeah. And you don't have to be good to play this character. Yeah. Um, do you guys like the, uh, when you play Smash, do you guys like the spike mechanic? Do you guys, like, uh, go off the stage and, like, hit people, like, I, down, like, really quick? Do you like, do you guys... Like, I really enjoy that mechanic, and I you can ask that. Adam. 
and I go for it even if it kills my character. It doesn't matter to me. It's just so satisfying to me that, like, I play Mario. Mario's probably my favorite. I will literally jump off the stage, try it, fall down, can't recover, but then I'm, like, upset more because I couldn't get the spike off. (laughs) I can't spike anyone. I refuse to try to because it's so dangerous. At my level of time. I bet, but I just can't do it. It's really hard. That and the character I play is just really good at blasting people off the screen. Gandor? No, that's Nick's Gandor. main. Okay. Gandor. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, that's Nick's main. Really? Yeah. Yep, that's Nick's that's main. That's okay. Guy. I have a buddy who uh, also mains Captain Falcon, who's just fast Ooh. and. Yeah. Falcon Punch hits. It's hard. Show me your moves. Do you know how many times I've heard that? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the things that he says. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thousands of times I've heard him say, "Show me your moves," and then I die. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I get rocketed off into orbit because he tapped me with his pinky toe. I have a uh, the same approach for Smash as I do with like Mortal Kombat, which is. There's two characters I know how to play, and the others I just press yep. buttons. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That works. Yeah. In Mortal Kombat, the one character I know how to play and apparently I'm unbeatable with is Liu Kang. But that's just because I lock them into an infinite combo until they die. Yep. I play, uh... I almost had a friend murder me. Cyrax we in uh, Mortal Kombat 9. That was my main. And then... Nice. I was I just pressed buttons with everybody else, but Cyrax had yep. easy combos, so I was unbeatable because I did something above button mashing. <laughs> yeah, it. I just can't wrap my head around like super high tech fighting games. Too dumb for that. Yeah, that's why I've... I have a friend who tries to make me play them with him, like Skullgirls, and then just wails on you. Yeah. Yeah, I love when they do that. The hell is Skull It's girls? a weird fighting game. Uh, it's an anime girl fighting game. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, is it on? Is it on Steam? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean the it? robot person. Big band. Uh, no, Robo oh. Fortune. I I'd only be able to main Big Band. Uh, he's great. He is the best character. Yeah. He, you can literally play music with him. There are so many pictures, like um, videos of people playing the uh, like Giorno's theme during a fight. <laughs> like they'll combo off on someone, and they'll just be like playing um, Giorno's theme. <laughs> <laughs> When are they going to add Gary Gygax <laughs> to a fighting game? I don't want to play That'd as him. Amazing. I just want to beat his weedy little face in. <laughs> Gary Gygax? Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, everyone knows that he's not the greatest of guys nowadays. Yeah. No, he, is, he was and is a terrible person. Is even he in his really grave. Funny, he did not. Kind of. He made first edition. Yeah. Well, that's all the D&D uh, we're going to no, talk okay. about for this episode. All right, guys. Uh, see you next episode. Oh, that, that's our only... That's the D&D segment? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're probably not going to have a dedicated D&D segment this time. If you like that part, why? But also, sorry. sorry. Okay. Is it over? Is there any questions that... You wanted to ask me about Leo? Yes, of course. That's a good thing to devote our short little D and D segment to this week. Um, I did have a very important question that I need an answer to, and then we can end the podcast and we can all go to bed, except for me, who's going to stay up another four hours and edit this. So, Dylan. Yes. When you were making Lee. Mm-hmm. How did you come up with yes. that voice? So. 
I was like, I was really trying to come up with a voice for this because I didn't want to like come up with some like stereotypical voice or anything like this. And then I stumbled upon Goldmine. It was Ladies Man from SNL. And I was like, I want to do this voice. I'm like, I have to. It is so good. I can't, I can't like pass this up. And like, I know it doesn't like fit Lee all that well, but I figured I wanted to make, I wanted to make a voice that was original and I didn't want to like copy anybody or anything like that. I'm like, that is such a good one to base it off of. So I really tried to like go for the ladies man. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to put my own spin on this because it's Lee. It's a dog person, man, that, you know, throws shurikens. So that's basically how I how I came up with it. I didn't want to copy anyone's voice or anything like that. I wanted to have an original voice. And I thought, what's better than a dog person with a speech impediment? That's kind of like gangster e esque voice. <laughs> that's fascinating. That's honestly, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> I've been waiting for that answer for years because that set the tone for the campaign. I wonder what will set the tone for the next campaign. I wonder what. Mm. What could it be? Probably some weird thing Cubby's coming up with. Probably. That's fair. Remember like, campaign? Yeah. I didn't realize that because when I listened to the podcast after that, I was like, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> That's just, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, at first, I was like, the, nobody likes it. I'm going to have to change it. But then it was already like, it's his yep. voice. I can't change it now. <laughs> yeah, when that's the line he opened up with, I was just like, okay. <laughs> that's what's happening. Oh, uh, that's so good. And then, like... <laughs> I evolved Lee so much throughout it. Cause like, like I said to you, it was like, I came to you with that idea mm -hmm. of the whole, the whole cliff thing. And then I kind of said it out loud to yep. everybody. <laughs> and then I felt really dumb about that. But then I was like, you know what? I can work with this. And then I just sat down and started thinking. And then Lee happened to where he is today. I just kept building and building and I never thought like Lee would develop into what he was, but I'm I'm pretty happy with him. He's like definitely my favorite character I've ever made. Second being Detective Sam and Tamden. That's a good character. They will forever be my favorite characters. Yeah. That you probably out of everybody sent me the most uh new backstory stuff and just develop character development stuff um as we went along. It was fascinating to see that Lee from this guy who's there all of a sudden has a full family and everything <laughs> just spawns in yeah but yeah it was it was so cool it's like it it was just so cool like seeing my ideas because like i i kind of had an idea like what might come of it but then it was just like better than i thought it was really cool like the whole like the cliff thing with the revenant i had no idea that was that was gonna happen and i was just like this is so cool. I would have I would have never thought of this. <laughs> yeah, and then who would have thought that it evolved into what it became in the campaign as far as that being a problem? Yeah, that was so funny. It was just like everywhere we went was him. And it it was just so much of the dilemma cuz like when Lee had to choose whether or not to destroy Cliff's soul, it was just kind of sad. Because on one hand, it was his best friend. But at the same time, he was killing him. Yeah. Then the whole shuriken thing. I thought, like... Because I... I Like, my vision for Lee was definitely... Like, I saw Musashi in the last campaign. And then I was Clarence Rickson. I mean, I healed a little bit. But as Clarence Rickson, I felt like... You know, I did some. But I wanted to be a little bit more prominent to the party. I wanted to be a little bit more something, I guess. So... I wanted to be, I wanted, I definitely wanted to be the damage dealer too. And I focused everything in on that. And yeah. Role model, just putting that out there. <laughs> I just saw that and it was like, Musashi has all this cool stuff, all this like, 
like all these like cool abilities and stuff. And I, I wanted to like I wanted to find a way to not only make Lee original, but I also wanted to find a way so he was uh important to the party. I mean, not like a character that's there isn't important to the party or anything, but I wanted to be like I don't know, I wanted to be something. <laughs> so Oh he's something. Yeah, yeah. He, he is something. He is certainly something. Here's a way we can wrap things up. I think he's something. Because any mm. any host of a show like this is Am I the host? I don't know why I just called yes. myself the yeah, fucking yeah. host. Most definitely. I don't really want to be the host. I'm just that feels like it sits me above and I'm definitely not. You are. You're already our DM. That means yeah. nothing. And yeah. I'm not right now. Yeah, but I've DM'd more for myself in the last couple of days than anybody else. Oh, you can tell everyone how your character already died. And that's... My character? I'm confused. Yeah, just you just don't know it yet. Oh, that's true. Um, No, but I was going to say, let's do this. Because any, anybody could ask, people. what's your favorite character? And who cares about that? What's the most useless you felt as a character in D&D? This will be our D&D segment. Talk about your saddest Run. experience with a character. Any character. Running. Sand and Tamden. <laughs> Sand and Tamden. When he died at the SCP one shot, I was like, oh, no. Because <laughs> I, I absolutely adored him as a character. I was like, this is, this is one of my funniest, like, best character concepts I've come up with. And then he died. And then, like, that one shot was incredible. Like, I, I, I just couldn't, I could not, even with my second character, come back to that. So, I, like, I felt kind of useless with the second character, because I put so much into Detective Sam and Tammy. Halloween 2021, baby. SCP one-shot part two. Really? Maybe. Really? I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll do it now. Maybe. I'll, I'll set a goal. Oh. We'll say, I'll say that, and I'll try to do it. All right. Hey. I got a lot of prep Down stuff that. that I need to do, but Ooh. I can do that. Honestly, uh, I'm... I'll... oh, go right ahead. I was just going to say I was going to go next, but if you had something to say. No, feel free. No, I said, Adam, how about you? Uh, probably the most useless I've felt as a character and just, like, bad moments is honestly the day after Ark stole from uh, the wow. vault in Grey Reach. Mm. Ark and Kalzoom and Trump. Yeah. It wasn't just Ark, so. No. Obviously, that was character development and him kind of learning that he can't go and do everything and just try and do that as quickly as possible. But also, you know, seeing how much havoc I've reaped. Across the people. Yeah, actions uh, have consequences. Tell yeah. Zoomler, real quick, for this coming to Jesus meeting. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, though. That was pretty bad. It was not just straight murder hobing, hoboing. And to be fair, I don't think you guys ever in Campaign 2 went so far as to murder hobo, so. That's, that's yeah. you can give yourself that I at least. Start. Yay! Yay! We touched the bar. Honestly, the saddest I ever felt in campaign two was my first kill. Mm. Mm. That was actually sad. <laughs> that was, was like deep. Yeah, that was pretty bad. As a as a DM, People that felt I felt bad forcing that. To the point where I think I texted you like the next day or the day after, and I was just like, "Hey, is that okay that that happened, or are you not okay with that?" <laughs> that was fine because it was it was a good moment. And... Oh, that was a very good moment. Intense. It just was sad, which is why it was good. Mm. It was it's like you could uh, feel it. Emotional yeah. moment. Not to mention, now I can say I got us to level twenty. Yeah. Fair. Mm. Yeah. A small price to pay. <laughs> for me, I mean, I could do the haha funny 
every session as Medsick, I was useless. Because oh. he was a cripple. Eat the road! Same and a human. Run. But, honestly, I think the only one that comes to mind, and maybe it's just because it was recently, was when I played as Krelf. Yep, that is totally mm. fair. Krelf was a Circle of Stars you... uh, Simic hybrid. Which is, so uh, Circle of Stars is the new druid. One of the new druids. In Tasha's. And... The, it's a great subclass. It's got some cool flavor. But when you play as a chaotic evil druid at second level or third level, whichever it was, um, you don't have a lot of cool third things you can do. So. You feel a bit limited. Yeah. It didn't help that you missed, like, every attack. Yeah. Mm. You're welcome oh. for that dungeon. <laughs> Same with Art Leaf. I'm, I'm probably gonna say Art Leaf as well. Same same exact moment. You you guys are giving a lot of credit to my wizard. Honestly, that stealth check from my wizard bow uh -huh. when I just oh. when I got oofed by goblins. Oh, um, rip! I feel like there's a yeah. there's a character I felt worse playing, but. L tiers. L tiers? No. No, L tiers was pretty good actually. First edition Rangers were powerful. Yeah. Andy had a goofy voice. Yeah, that is true. I think you mean iconic, but okay. Fair. I do feel like, in a weird way, the voice you give a character can both make them very memorable, and also a voice doesn't matter at all. And it's like it can apply right. either way, which is very weird. Yeah. Such as Musashi, who had no voice. I am terrible at voice acting. I can't remember the same voice from minute to minute. And I don't want to deal with people going, that's not the voice. And I'm like, it's the one you're getting. He had something in his throat the whole time. And he finally cleared it out, and then now yeah. it's the voice. Yeah. Hey, Gap, it's me, Musashi. <laughs> I think it's weird. <laughs> Kauzu was the only character that I've made at that table and like played at that table mm -hmm. without any sort of accent or anything. Yeah. Was he like one of your first two? He was my second character for that table mm -hmm. ever. Who was your first? Uh, he was a high main um paladin for a one shot that Adam Dan Dylan or Dylan Dylan oh it was probably really Dylan it, yeah it probably was cold. me because I remember you being there the first session I think it was the tenth hell one shot no that was the giant hand it was the one that Clayton pissed on the cobalt yeah Clayton wasn't there for the tenth hell yes that's the giant hand one. Yeah. <laughs> I was not there for that one. I don't. I think uh, my character had the most the, clever solution. For I don't. That. I don't remember his name, and I don't remember if I did an accent for him. But I know I don't do one for Calzoon, but I've done one for Merle. I've done one for Din. Yeah. I've done one for Tim. Yeah. I did one for Bowie, which was a weird one shot thing that we did. Mm -hmm. I did one for La Slash, which was another weird did one shot one for thing. Chris? Uh, Chris was over text. Oh. You could have put yeah. accents over your letters. <laughs> I could, but he also died. Yeah. That's true. He was, he, he was there for two episodes, and then... Yeah. Episodes? <laughs> and then to... he died, and now he owes his next 20 lives to a priestess of Walt. To be fair, your character died second as far as character deaths go, because my character died in that first. Yeah, Just that saying. was sad. <laughs> Poor Craggle Crop. That's really gonna suck. What? I have to do a voice in Gen 3. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, most definitely. Yeah. That's, that's gonna suck. Yeah. You've got a lot to draw inspiration from. Voice. Ooh, how am I gonna do for a voice for my character? Disclaimer. <laughs> Campaign 3. No I'm accent for me. Reason. My favorite voice is definitely Tim. Tim is good. Tim is the fa my favorite RP anything that I've ever done. He's progressing. 
He's progressing. He's evolving. <laughs> He's up to four. He is up to four. Four what? You may never know. Maybe you'll find out <laughs> on the next episode of Glencha Gathers. Oh, oh. oh. No. podcast, podcast, <laughs> woo, podcast, okay. yay, podcast. Okay. Thank you for woo. joining us for this clusterfuck. Um, I'm sorry. I think we had a lot of fun. Hopefully, you did too. Mm-hmm. If not, we did. You're lying because you're listening this far, so you enjoyed part of it. You wouldn't have stuck through if you didn't. Massacre. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thank you for listening to episode six. Uh, I'm kind of proud of us for making it this far, and we got more on the horizon. Me too. Probably. We're almost a double digits. We're almost a double digits. What are we doing for our tenth podcast anniversary? Great question. <laughs> we'll have to figure something out for it. Maybe the whole episode will just be a terrible roll twenty session. The only last oh, two hours. No. Be good. <laughs> I'd rather do anything else. On I'd rather play first edition. Well, there we go. That's what we're doing for episode Let's number play first 10. Edition. Oh, 10th can be our first edition rant. First edition on roll 20. <laughs> I don't think that would work. We'll make it work. Also, listeners at home, if you're particular about this, and if you are, shut the fuck up. But if you are, uh, first edition, we mean AD&D first edition. Sorry. Very different. Apparently, people get upset if you call one by the other name. Or by a made-up name. But it's a made-up what? game, so... Uh, so it's We didn't play D&D for a long time. We played AD&D. We technically played AD&D. AD&D. A game called D and D, which is actually just a mod for Greyhawk, which was terrible. Which is actually a mod and for now telling me this Warhammer. Yeah. So was Campaign One in Dungeons and Dragons First Edition? A D and D First Edition. What? Yep. Yeah, Campaign One wasn't actually D and D. Sorry. On a technicality. Anyways, I'm gonna try the in- the outro one last time. It's taken me less tries in the intro, so I'll take it. But yeah, so thank you for listening. Uh, we're going to do our little plugs. That's all I need to say. I didn't need to do the whole outro thingy again. Uh, my name is Chris, or Alzi. Depending on where you know me from, you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, and or Twitch at A-L-V-E-S-I-E underscore S-P-R-O-C-K-E-T. I can hear myself in my ears, so it's very confusing. I'm glad I was still able to spell that. But yeah, check it out. Watch some of my stuff if you want. I promise someday I will stream. Maybe a little bit. Check out Polly Walnuts' Big Day Out. It's a good one. Uh, he needs a prostami sandwich with mustard. Get it. So... You can find me uh, in the dark at your nearest convenience store parking lot where I'll be waiting to fight you about Kingdom Hearts. And I swear to God, if you try and defend it, I will choke slam you into the pavement with the force of God. You can, That's all. You can stop him from being hostile. Uh, you must succeed on talking to him about Magic the Gathering. And it will pacify him long enough to escape. Yes. <laughs> Unless you say you play um, Dredge, and then I'm going to dredge your body in the river, and they will never find Dread. you. Next to Goofy. Next to Goofy. <laughs> uh, I'm Adam. I honestly don't know anymore where you can find me. He's lost. That Dylan. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I have nothing to plug except That's for two cool. things. Ooh. Number one, check out Chris's YouTube channel. It is it's hilarious. I've watched a good amount of it. Uh, I wish I had more time to watch it because it is it's really entertaining. The other thing I'd like to plug is 
it hasn't happened yet, but I'm currently working on it. My band on Spotify. Woo! Yeah. You say it's that's a lie. You have a band to plug. Yeah. I do have a band for the plug. Uh, we haven't recorded anything yet, but it will be plugged or it will be recorded uh, probably more towards winter. And but it will be under the band name Host for Sin. We play metal, and I think it's pretty tight. So uh, if you guys I could check one. it out, that'd be awesome. Nice. That's some I good SEO. SoundCloud. Is that a no? Oh, what? I I missed yeah, the question. I find you on SoundCloud. Uh, not on SoundCloud. It'll probably be on Spotify. Okay. Good to know. I'll have to delete SoundCloud then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need it. Yeah, no I'm SoundCloud sorry. rapping here. Sorry. Ah, you can find me on PlayStation Network and Twitter, but I don't use that as Jacob Geico. The O and of is a zero. So it's Jacob Geico with a zero in the word of no spaces. Help him grind Monster Hunter on PlayStation. Yes, please. I need to get to Master Rank. And someday, hopefully soon, or rather some days, maybe I can get us all together to play a couple of games and record that or stream that or whatever. That would be fun. No promises. Because be we're really busy cool. people. We can only manage to get ourselves together uh, one day a week. Asking for more is impossible. Two days a week. I'd have a really funny bit to end the podcast, but I don't have one. So, uh... <laughs> oh no, I didn't hit record. Oh, we're not funny uh, people. It's okay. Uh... Wait, wait. You know, we all have that line in our head that I'm thinking of right now. Right. I think so. I have propane. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh, no. <laughs> Yo! 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 Yo!